Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ta back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be doing a Q&A for 30,000 subscribers, guys. It's absolutely unreal the fact that we have reached 30,000 subscribers. This is only been, this is really only the beginning as well. I'm very, very excited, kind of for 2K21, the future of YouTube, everything, Twitch, YouTube, all of it, man. I'm super, super excited. But if you are in the, if you were in the first 30,000 subscribers, guys, I greatly, greatly appreciate all the recent support. Um, you know, it's just kind of really went crazy since the start of Feb February. It's it, basically at least 29,000 of the 30 um, have came since February. So that's just absolutely crazy um, for me. But thank you, thank you again, guys. If you are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button and let's hop right into the Q and A. First question was an in is an interesting one and came in from my guy Braxton on Twitter and he asked, "When you were younger, did you ever think you would be a successful YouTuber?" Um, the answer to this question is no. I never really thought about doing YouTube or even Twitch, quite honestly, um, like I am now. Now, I will say I did stream, you know, I streamed, started streaming a little over like a year and a half ago, uh, but it was only because my brother wanted to watch kind of, watch something while he worked out. He'd go and work out. He wanted to watch me play my team and it was, that's all it was. You know, a few randoms came in here and there. Um, and I never really thought about taking the YouTube route. Um, and even this year, at the start of this year, 2K20, um, I started getting a little into YouTube, but wasn't consistent with it at all. Um, YouTube at all. Really, until I won the Global Championship, I posted zero videos of 2K20, really. Maybe two or three, but nothing really like that. No gameplay videos. After I did win the Global Championship, I think, I don't even remember when it was, uh, late February, maybe, um... That's when it was late February. You know, I got some motivation some from some bitty, pretty big content creators, including DBG, some other people like Ty. You need to take this thing more seriously, and that's kind of when I really decided to take this thing uh, on full force. But now, when I was younger, it never really crossed my mind. Shout out to my man's Ned. Ned is really the man with the plan. Uh, my boy Ned asks, "What has been your favorite part about streaming, making videos, especially with how big of a following you've been able to have?" Um. I would say my favorite part about, you know, the streaming and making videos is just, you know, providing content, you know, for you guys. I want to I want to help you guys uh, become, be first of all, better 2K players. Uh, and second of all, uh, know which players to use, you know, such as like a Robert Covington. Those types of guys are hidden gems. I want to I want to let you guys know who are my types of favorite players. But on more on the streaming level, just that one on one interaction, kind of that streaming on uh, the Twitch side of things. Uh, has for me it's just that's probably my favorite part of it is just like the relationships i've built with other streamers uh you know um just people in my chat stuff like that it's just kind of grown uh pretty rapidly um and that's probably my favorite part about it all my boy lenzo asks do you have any interest in branching away from 2k for other games such as madden cod etc do you want your legacy to be known for 2k and so this is kind of a difficult question for me because uh, I don't really have that much fun playing like the COD type of, type of games, anything like that. But, you know, I could see myself, you know, down the road possibly branching out uh, because, you know, with the growth opportunities, you never know uh, what's going to come up and the opportunities uh, that are going to be presented. But, you know, for now, I'm having success on 2K. I'm enjoying 2K. Uh, so at least for the short time, I'm probably going to stick to 2K. My boy six man Sam asks if you were the if you were the Timberwolves GM, what changes would you make? And this is honestly a very difficult question because here's the thing: we got a we we got a great talent in Carl Anthony Towns, and we got to make him happy. So Timberwolves GM, you got to do whatever it takes to win. You know, win now. We got deloading. You know, we got a good pick coming up. Whether you you know hit on the pick or trade the pick, look. For me, we need talent. Do whatever it takes to get talent for this year. We got D'Lo. We got Malik, who's, who's solid as well. Big Cat. I, look, I think we can win now. And that's the that's kind of the mindset I would have if I was the T-Wolves GM. My boy Undead asked a very tough question here. He said, what is the toughest thing you've had to endure in your life? Or just a roadblock from success? Also, if you weren't playing 2K, what is a dream you've always had? And so... I'm going to start, this is, might be a long type of question, so I will say this, I haven't ever had, you know, um, ad adversity is, you know, hit me in, in different ways, but I wouldn't say I've had like a moment that is above the rest, I haven't had, you know, 
that you know defining moment that that a lot of people have a lot of people have in their lives and i'm um blessed and fortunate i haven't had that anything you know too tragic um that i've had to experience so far but i've had a uh, you know a couple of things so growing up you know i was always you know basketball was my main passion so uh i always wanted to make it to stay in basketball that was like my goal when i was six years old all the way through what a senior in high school uh made it to substate the game uh going you know into the state tournament two years in a row wasn't able uh to to make it either year so that you know hurt me because like especially my senior year i knew that was the last time i was probably gonna play basketball and so just knowing my that was like my only dream growing up so that you know i had to find a new dream a new passion and so uh i started just playing 2k um and then at the start of 2k20 my main goal was to win 250k nothing with streaming nothing with youtube obviously i had smaller goals my main goal is win 250k qualified for that ended up um i had a lead ended up um Jin outplayed me you know uh credit to Jin, but um, ended up losing that and then six days later I had to qualify for the global championships was able to do that and then a month later I, I won the 100k global championship so it just is crazy you know that 250k I was I was obviously very very upset uh, emotional and then a week later I had to bounce back to qualify for global so just kind of a short turnaround and, and so that was kind of that was kind of a roadblock you know as something tough i had two big tournaments you know obviously 250k was my main priority and then i still had to get ready in that week following after i was upset uh to qualify for global so that's uh probably you know the biggest roadblock if was my biggest dream if it wasn't for 2k that's a tough question i will say this um i've always kind of wanted to coach sports so like I was gonna i was going to college to be a physical education teacher and probably gonna coach some sports too so you know if i wasn't playing 2k that's probably the route i would have went down i got back-to-back -back questions here that are the same here uh from lucas and era what motivated you to do youtube or what inspired you to do youtube so you know like i said right after the global championship um I would say this there wasn't any more like competitive type tournaments so i you know had i was still in college at the time which kind of limited what i could do uh but that's kind of what motivated me i was in college but i was like i i made a name for myself a little bit uh, i've grown and so i'm just gonna start doing youtube and see where it takes me uh i grew pretty fast so thank you guys a lot uh for opening up opening up all these doors and opportunities really all you guys were were such an inspiration um to me on my journey next question here is from philip i saw you and i gear in the background of your video and i went there did i i did so this past year and the year before i ended up i was at you and i yep that's where i went to college uh this year i'm taking you know i'm not gonna go to college and, and i'm going to uh i had a question earlier am i gonna do youtube youtube full time and that's my intention going into 2k21 i'm gonna you know take a year off of college see what happens with youtube and just try to enjoy it because right now i'm having a lot of fun with it but yes i did go to you and i question here for matt have you ever played any sports early on in your life and if so how good were you so this is kind of a tough question for me personally to answer uh, I, I did play uh, sports. I played basketball, um, football, and track in high school. And then my senior year, I ended up playing baseball as well. But um, uh, I was okay, you know. I, I, I was obviously, uh, well, I was an all-conference, you know, an all-district uh, quarterback in football and then point guard in basketball. Um, and then in track, I was decent at 800s. I mean, decent. When I say decent, I was decent my senior year. That was it because before that, um I wasn't very good, but I was decent enough my senior year. Ended up going to state uh, in track as well, which was kind of a cool experience. But baseball, I just did for fun. But I was just okay, you know. I, it was, I, was, I was okay, man. All right, I'm going to answer this next question real briefly because, <clears throat> Kate, hey, I got some. Listen, I did upgrade my webcam, but we had, you know, 195 mile. Okay, that's a little. 100 mile an hour win, so I didn't bring my nice webcam here home with me, so that's still my other house. But, hey, I'm sorry I bought a new webcam. I just don't have it with me right now. Next question comes in by AZN on Twitter. If you have played high school basketball, what were the stats? I averaged about 10 points and 8 assists um, my junior and senior years, respectively, um, is when, you know, we were actually good uh, and I, you know, started. But, yep, mom, I was kind of a pass-first point guard. It's kind of the best way to describe it. I could shoot a little bit. But, yeah, uh, 10 and 8 is, you know, kind of what I averaged. This last question I'm going to answer here is what is my motivation to keep doing YouTube or keep going? Uh, it is, I've, I've, I've seen this question a few times. So I would say my biggest motivation um, for doing this is just kind of how far it's, you know, grown so far and, and 
kind of when I was first starting out what I wished it could be. Um, Because when you first start Twitch or YouTube, uh, I would say, obviously I'm not there yet. I'm not where I want to be. But when you first start, you dream of being, you know, where those guys are. Um, When I first started streaming, I had three, four, five viewers, you know, and wishing and seeing some of these other guys have 200, 300 in there. And you're like, wow. You know, wow. Like, that's the only thing you say. You're like, wow, I wish, you know, someday I can get there. And then, you know, just seeing kind of how it's grown for me, it's just, it's kind of humbling. Like, that's the best way I can describe it. So that's kind of my best motivation to keep doing it is thinking about all the hard work uh, I've put into it so far uh, and just knowing that I'm having fun with it. So why would I stop? I'm, I've been successful so far. I'm having fun and I put a lot of work into it. Uh, so that's probably my biggest motivation to keep going. Alright, y'all, that is going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the little Q&A. Again, huge shout-out to the, the first 30K, man. Big shout-out for the first 30K. If you are new to the channel, though, please smash that subscribe button. So we're on the road to 35,000 subscribers, guys. Let me know if you guys like this Q&A, if you guys would like to, you know, do another one or, or see something, you know. If you guys want another one at 35K, let me know down below, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love y'all. And have a blessed day.